sovereignty in Spanish is Sobrania, which is the name of the song that rings out across the square of the Republic's capital. 200,000 people from all parts of the country have converged on the capital for Independence Day celebrations. Panama numbers one and a half million. Actually, this means that a third of the country's adult population has gathered only a few steps away from the American zone. On that day, the American troops in the zone were at top battle readiness. I watched the people dancing in the square and recalled the words spoken to me last night by General Omar Torrijos. If they don't kill me, I'll do everything to give the people of Panama freedom. Watchword here is, we shall never be forced to our knees. The head of state, Omar Torrijos, declared, I asked the foreign journalists and diplomats here today to tell me, what nation will bear the humiliation of seeing a foreign flag waving right in the very heart of its country? What nation of America, what nation in the whole world will put up with a foreign governor on their territory? The day will come, and I will tell the people of Panama, the time has come when one generation of Panamanians must go into battle so that other generations will be able to live in a free land. Gracias, Gracias, pueblo panameño, por este llamado, por este respaldo que le ha dado a tu revolución. Para todos, señores, para ustedes, pueblo panameño. People of Panama, I thank you. Men, women, students and peasants, I thank you. Thank you for your confidence in me. Muchas gracias. We shall never be forced to our knees. We shall overcome. These are the words that will be passed on from one generation of freedom fighters to another.
there are 300 million people working and struggling on this continent. Perhaps the most trying battles are still ahead. The people of Latin America believe that kindness and the truth will triumph, that love for man and justice will triumph. They believe that the revolution will triumph.